Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be taking you with me through an entire full day of clinic. So today's clinic doesn't start until 9 a.m. So I finally caught up on all my sleep and managed to catch up to this awesome sunrise. Next, it's time to get ready for the day and to finally charge my smartwatch, which I always forget to do. Now my favorite part of the morning is a nice warm shower. And that just happens to be my dog's shampoo. Better not use that. But after a solid shower and some shower singing, time to get ready for the day. And of course, there's no better way to show off that you're in medical school like your caffeine dependence, so here's my morning coffee routine. My current caffeine intake is about a cup of coffee in the morning and some sort of diet soda in the afternoon. Now again, today clinic didn't start until 9am and it's about 7.30 at the moment, so that means I have some time to get some work done. And during these hours, I either work on a new video for the channel or skim through a new medical article that caught my attention. But Lux, this is the voice inside your head saying it's finally time to go to work. Stop being a bum, grab your stuff, otherwise you're going to be late. So I grab my stuff, head out, and I'm expecting a full day of clinic, but during my drive I realized something pretty awesome. So I'm driving to clinic and today was supposed to be a full day, so it was supposed to be one clinic for the first half of the day, another clinic for the second half of the day where I had to like drive across the, the, the city of Dallas, but I looked and simply because COVID is still a thing technically, the second clinic I have is still canceled. It's like a virtual clinic. So I technically have the afternoon off unless I'm totally just making that up, which is nice. Those are like good surprises. So I can like do something else. Tomorrow I'm going to be starting the advanced cardiology ICU with like deals with heart failure patients, transplant patients, LVAD patients, um, patients that I haven't really taken care of before during residency. So it'll be a good time to go ahead and just like read about it, learn about it a little bit more. Um, and then maybe go for a run. It's like a really gorgeous day outside. So, but first let's get to clinic. So having the afternoon off was a nice surprise. What wasn't a nice surprise was the thunderstorm that flew through central Dallas on my drive to work. So made it to the hospital and just out of, I had good fortune today. I managed to think of bringing my umbrella. It wasn't raining, it was actually beautiful and sunny as you guys saw from the last clip where I said it was like a beautiful day. And now it's just like nice and gloomy and rainy. So thankfully I have the umbrella. Um, clinic's gonna start in 10 minutes, so I've gotta get there. Now clinics for me can be a toss up of how busy they are. In my last day in the life video in clinic, I actually didn't have that many patients, but today's was actually a particularly busy day with a combination of phone calls and in-person visits. And the most difficult part of working at an internal medicine clinic is that patients can have a variety of complaints and expect answers to them all, all in a short visit. So as a doctor, it becomes an art to balance what the patient wants to talk about, what I want to focus on, and then deferring a few things until our next visit. But trying to do this from patient to patient through phone call and physical encounters, it takes a toll and this morning I'm really starting to feel it. But thankfully today's a half day and I've gotten quick at writing my notes, so I'm done around 12.30pm. But to make the most of a half day, I decided to create a to-do list of everything I wanted to get done this afternoon. It is still raining, so thank God for this umbrella. All right, so here is ultimately what I decided to do for the rest of the day. First, we're gonna have some food, but then these are the things that I decided that I need to work on. So first we're gonna do some videos for the YouTube channel. I need to do some cardiology review. Ultimately gonna go do a workout at the gym and just because when ICU hits, usually can't actually go to the physical gym because time gets busy. And then I actually need to review all my patients that I'm going to be taking over for the whole team and being the senior resident. And then finally I'm gonna work on some scripts for future videos for you guys. So this will be my checklist. I'll kind of sit on this main counter um, and then we shall be good to go. So change of plans. My initial plan was to do do lunch, do videos, and then do some studying of cardiology. I've already eaten my lunch, already have done my videos, I am drained. So I'm gonna take a nap because sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is to do nothing. Um, and then I'm gonna wake up, do some cardiology review, and then go get that workout while I ideally feel refreshed. And the weather outside, let's see. It's like gloomy, but like nothing too crazy. I'm not even sure if you guys can see it. Just believe me, there is no more rain outside. So I may go for a workout and then go for a run. Uh, but this is the typical day of kind of like what my off day will look like. Uh, but the difference is that I actually went to clinic today. Um, so nap time and then wake up and we'll get back to it. All right, so I've woken up from my slumber. 
and it is approximately five o'clock, 5.30. Um, I still need to do like my studying, still need to go over my patients for tomorrow, and I still need to go to the gym. So now we're actually gonna get to work. Um, I'm still like groggy before I go to the gym. I wanna do some squats and legs today. Um, so we are gonna actually regain some of that energy, drink a cup of coffee, because caffeine doesn't really affect me anyways anymore. Those of you guys are on the medical journey, you know what I need. Um, so I will show you guys my system of how I like to study. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now in my Notion database, and this is my for later section. So this is linked to my Google Chrome extension, and most of these are from up to date, and that's simply just because these are the easiest places for me to find. Um, but now, if I click into them, you know that whole article is already linked in here, and I can take notes on this article for the different things. And like I said, I'm going to be on the heart transplant and advanced heart failure uh, service, and so things like heart failure rejections and managing LVADs and basic things like I've already taken care of before, like cardiogenic shock, um, this would be a good reminder. So I'm going to go over these. Let me give myself a timer because I know this is overwhelming and I don't need to know everything by tomorrow. That's just part of medicine. But I do want to know a little bit and feel more comfortable. And so right now, as you guys can see, it is 527. And so I'm going to give myself until about 615. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee, put my phone away, do a Pomodoro session, and let's get into it. Friends, as you guys can see, I've done a solid about one hour now. It's about 6:16, so it's my stopping time that I told myself. And this is kind of how I study. That I have up to date on this side, and then I'm kind of creating these little documents on Notion and keeping it per the category that it's in, so that way I can just like sort them in the future and to see all my knowledge that I kind of carried over for LVADs and cardiogenic shock, etc. And then as I was doing this, you know, in the back of my mind, you always have things that are like, oh, you know, I need to review X, Y, and Z. So things like echoes and ECMOs and cath reports. So these are just kind of there for my reference. That way next time I do this, these will be the articles that I then look up and then just kind of keep going. And as soon as I get one down, it's kind of cross it off. That's my very simple way of studying now. Now I definitely still want to go get a workout, but I told myself I would go for a run today and I definitely had a big kind of late lunch. So what I'm actually going to force myself to do, although it looks kind of scary outside, is questionably go for like a two mile run. So nothing too crazy. Um, hopefully before it rains, cause I can like see it in the far corner. Let me see if I can get you guys to that's currently what it looks like outside. That's coming or going, but I'm not sure if I should go run. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Let's do it. So I did check their weather radar and it looks like for another hour we are good to go for a run. Like I said, it'll be two miles, I'm not the fastest runner. Goal will be to try to do about a nine, nine and a half minute pace. Let's get to it. Now my body surely felt the heat and the fatigue during this run, but one of the last things I still have to do today is to prepare for taking over new patients on the heart transplant and heart failure service tomorrow. Just finished from mile number one. I thought this was gonna be a bad run, I was right. It took me 10 minutes to run that. I ran this same run a few days ago at nine minute pace, but that's okay. Let's go finish. All right, friends, so it is now about eight o'clock. I'm not sure, Let's see if the watch will even turn on. And it's upside down. Uh, so close. Okay, just believe me, it's eight o'clock. Um, a few things I need to do. So I've finally been sent the email of what happened to the patients that I'll be taking over for tomorrow. And so now I need to read about them. Usually that takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to do. And usually what I do is I almost kind of plan as if I was already there tomorrow. So I start writing my notes. Um, and now I have an intern that kind of does that for me, but just so I can be prepared because I don't know these patients. And tomorrow I start with 10 patients, which is a good amount for your first day for 10 patients I see level that you just don't know. So it's gonna be hard regardless. Um, but I'm gonna spend about 20 to 30 minutes doing that and basically jotting down notes, um, getting prepared for tomorrow. And then depending on how we feel at 8.30, you know, I'll still go for that leg day versus just relax and maybe do some laundry. Uh, we'll evaluate, but I'll see you guys then. I would later. All right, friends, so finally managed to go over all these patients. These patients are pretty complicated, so it is now 8.43. Let me see if I can get this to work now. Uh, 
I just, I don't even know what to say. It's 8.43, probably not gonna go to the gym. Probably will be better to just chill, turn on a movie, call it a night, get some sleep, because tomorrow will be an early day, a long day likely, because they have nine to 10 patients, which is like the third of the entire service. Uh, but that's fine, we'll grind on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna end this vlog here, but let me know in the comments section down below if you guys wanna see more content like this, days in the life, I'm happy to do so if you guys are interested. Um, but with that being said, guys, hit that like button down below, smash it, maybe you can just crash it, destroy it one more time, just in case you haven't. Hit that subscribe button um, to get more content just like this on a weekly basis. And with that being said, thank you so much for joining me on my journey. If you enjoyed this video, you probably enjoyed this video too, where I walk you through my entire day of a life as an internal medicine doctor and actually go through a very patience so check that video out if you guys are interested but with that being said guys thank you so much for joining me on my journey i'll see you guys next time on yours peace